Getting promoted isn't only about doing your current job well. It's about being able to show that you can do the next one even better. So in this video, I'm sharing with you some tips that can help you to land that next promotion. My name is Lisa Appia. I'm a certified career and resume strategist. In my career, I've been promoted five times in less than eight years, and I've used some of these strategies, and I share these strategies as well with my clients. So let's get right into it. The first thing is being able to create an area of expertise, or what I sometimes call a visibility niche. What that is, it's creating a space where you are seen as the expert in a certain area. I'll give an example. In the early days in my career, I was in a role where I was an analyst, just like four or five other people who were analysts. We had the same job. We were doing about the same thing. And I wanted to find a way to stand out. I wanted to find a way to get noticed for what I was doing because I was doing good work, but it just fell into the crowd because everyone was basically doing the same thing. So I would hear sometimes in meetings that people will talk about corporate reporting and they were having issues with it. They didn't like doing it. So I got curious about it and I was like, hey, I want to know what this is. I want to learn more about it. I decided to learn all I needed to know about corporate reporting, how performance was measured in the branch, how they were developing the key performance indicators. I decided to learn all that I needed to know and I started positioning myself that way. So whenever there were meetings that people were saying, oh, it's a corporate reporting meeting, they weren't really happy about it, nobody was too hot about it, I was like, oh, I'll go, I'll go, I don't mind, I'll go. And over time, I started to learn more and people started to see me that way. They started to see me as the person who was the expert in corporate reporting. And eventually what ended up happening is that I attended a meeting with an executive and he said that he was looking for someone who had that expertise on his team. I applied for the role and I landed the promotion. So it is a strategy that can help you to be able to get noticed when you have something that helps you stand out from the crowd, something that is seen as a differentiating factor. What enables you to do something that others cannot do or do it in a way that others can't do in the same way. What is that thing that is your zone of genius that when you are involved in that thing, it just is brilliant, it's perfect, it's done very well. So being able to identify it and also to be able to leverage it is one of the key ways that you can get noticed for a promotion. The next thing is extracurricular activities. So that's like volunteering, being able to be part of a board or a panel. I will give a disclaimer is that what I mean by this is not being the person that organizes all the office parties or being the person who does the office housework. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about because there are lots of studies who have demonstrated that women often get stuck doing those types of roles that hinder their ability to progress in their career. So I want to make that disclaimer that that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about finding skill-based opportunities that are not necessarily part of your day-to-day -day work, but enable you to shine and enable you to be noticed by the right decision makers. And so depending on what organization that you are in, maybe there are employment resource groups, or maybe there is a special committee that is being created for a project. Those are the types of things that may be related to your subject matter, but it also may not be, but enables you to be noticed by senior management. So the key thing is that if you are taking on additional work, you want to think of it strategically. Why are you doing it? And how is this going to help in your overall career progression? The next thing to keep in mind is that as you progress in your career, it's no longer about the work that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's no longer about you being that individual contributor. It's about you being able to manage the expertise of other people. You're no longer that person who is being recognized for their work solely. As you move up into management and higher positions, it's actually more about those 
soft skills, you being able to demonstrate your leadership skills and being able to manage and lead a team effectively. And that's a completely different skill set compared to when you were starting your career and you were the person who was focusing on your day-to-day -day work. And so that is something that you need to keep in mind as you progress in your career is that it's no longer solely about your expertise but also knowing and being able to manage the expertise of other people another thing to keep in mind when you're looking to land a promotion is your circle of influence who is around you and who around you would be willing to advocate for you to support you in making that next move and so it's really important to build a solid network around you within the organization and sometimes outside of the organization as well depending on the role being able to create a space where people know you people know the work that you do and people who are willing to vouch for you even when you are not there and that takes time that takes time of building relationships of people noticing you people seeing you and so that's why it's important to know that it's not when you want the promotion that you need to start doing these things it's before you're ready even as you've just maybe started a new role you need to start putting these things in place so that a year from now 18 months from now you will be considered for that next promotion and so the people that you connect with is very important as you're looking to progress in your career confidence is one of the things that will be key throughout this process of you wanting to land a promotion and I have another video how to build confidence in your career and I'm sharing that one right here with you and on that note i'm wishing you all the best as you're looking to move up in your career take care see you in the next video